If you're anything like me, you want to have fun and creative hobbies, but you don't want to spend a lot of money. When you want to do art, this usually means choosing less expensive supplies. I personally think paintbrushes are one area that you can get away with being on the cheaper end, especially while you're still learning. But not this cheap. The paintbrushes I'm talking about are those sets of 6 to 10 that you can find at your local craft store for around $10 or less. You'll often get them in art kits or for art classes, and if friends and family know you do art, you might also get them as gifts. As you can see, I try to never throw paintbrushes away because you never know when you'll need a less than perfect one for a project. I've learned a lot through trial and error about what to do and not to do to help my brushes last as long as possible, and that's what I'm going to share in this video. At the end of this video, I'm going to pick out the worst brushes that I have and show you how you can revive brushes that haven't had the best care. My first tip is to try not to leave your brushes in the water while you paint. Yes, it looks cool and artsy, but if water soaks into the metal part, it breaks down the adhesive that holds the brush together, which means your brush will eventually fall apart. If you forget or just want to leave your brushes in the water anyway, then I recommend filling your cup only a little bit, maybe with about an inch of water so that only the bristles will sit in the water and none of the handle. I recently learned that you shouldn't aggressively smash the paintbrush into the bottom of your cup to clean it off and instead just swivel it quickly in the water. But I've already developed the habit of being kind of aggressive with my brushes, so I can't really tell you not to do that. But if you're still developing your painting habits, I'm sure it would help. Next, try not to leave paint on your paintbrushes. It's easy to get caught up in painting and want to quickly switch to a different brush without cleaning it off, but if you leave paint on a brush and it dries on there, you're going to have to stop what you're doing and wash it before you're able to use it again. When you finish using a color, it doesn't take that much longer to just clean it off in the water and then wipe it on an old cloth or hand towel. While your brushes are still wet, be sure to let them dry horizontally for the same reason that you wouldn't leave them in the water because the water from the bristles could soak down into the handle as it dries, causing the brush to fall apart sooner. When you're done painting for the day, even if you plan to start again tomorrow, gently rinse your brushes in lukewarm water. If there's a lot of paint on the brush, you can rub it with a little bit of hand soap and use warmer water. Hand soap is typically gentle enough for brushes and it's something we should all have already. Dish soap might be a bit rough, but you could use that instead if you have to. When you let them dry, remember the bristles will dry however you leave them, so be sure to put them back into place while they're still damp. If they won't stay in place with just water, you can leave a bit of soap on it and just be sure to rinse the soap off before you paint with it again. If you're using your brushes for glue or masking fluid, or if you've accidentally left paint on a brush for a long time and it's dried out to the point where you'd consider throwing it away, don't despair there are some options to revive them. The first method I tried was soaking them in apple cider vinegar for 24 hours. I chose this wide, shallow bowl so that I could lay the brushes to not be resting on their bristles for a full 24 hours, as it would probably cause them to bend. And then I filled the bowl with just enough vinegar to cover the bristles while avoiding the rest of the paintbrush. After 24 hours, I checked on the brushes and rinsed them off, but while it loosened the paint a little bit, it didn't do much for the really stiff ones, which I think have dried glue on them. So next I tried soaking them in rubbing alcohol for just two hours, and that actually worked much better. You can see the alcohol is really dirty and murky even after I had just soaked and washed these brushes the day before. Alcohol is a lot rougher than vinegar on your brushes, so I definitely wouldn't leave them overnight like I did with the vinegar. And just like before, you want to clean your soaking agent off completely to make sure it doesn't damage your brush. If they're still out of shape, you can also do the soap trick at this point. Just get the brush nice and soapy, reshape the bristles with your fingers, and then leave the soap on until you're ready to paint with it again. While these brushes aren't perfectly restored to new, they're definitely much more usable now. I was actually considering throwing some of them away, but I will definitely be keeping them. When your brushes are fully dry, they can be stored upright in cups and jars like what I do, or you can keep them horizontally in a drawer or box where they won't be crushed. I should mention that everything in this video applies mainly to brushes for acrylic gouache and watercolor paint, because that's what I'm familiar with. I know almost nothing about oil painting, and I'm sure the brushes for that might be different, so just keep that in mind. Anyway, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching.